What's up everybody? It's Titanium Feet Jack and today we're going to take a look at an early sneaker. But before we get into that, need a couple things from you. Need you to hit that like button. Leave a comment on today's video. Let me know your thoughts on today's shoe. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and sub up to the channel. Now today, taking a look at a sneaker is set to come out this Saturday, January the 14th. If I ever have a pair in hand, we're going to take a look at it. Here's the box. If you've been following sneakers, you already know what this is. We got a true blue box, Nike box, all over, white Nike lettering. You can see the box label right there. I'm going to read it out loud to you. It says, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, color true blue, white, cement gray. This is a size 7.5. And I believe the retail on these is going to be 180 US dollars as I'll show you that lot stamp right there inside that lift off box top and we do have some paper smooth on one side a little rough on the other look on the inside you do have that YCM sticker you got the lines going through it and to look around the box Nike just like your Jordan 1 boxes but it's just now blue. let's get into the sneaker guys we have the air john retro one true blue and this is set to come out january 14 like i said earlier this sneaker is made on a white base you got white on your quarter panels on your toe box and around the padding around the ankle you do have c-man gray overlays on going around the uh the ankle and on the heel you got a true blue nike swoosh and true blue going down your eyelets, your uh, and your mud guard, your midsole. You got a white midsole. You got an encapsulated air system inside of this air sole, and you have a cement gray hit at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. You do have an all cement gray outsole on the bottom. Traditional Jordan one outsole. Looking at the back. You got more of that cement gray going around your ankle and that white padding up top. Cement gray on the heel and the true blue swoosh from the lateral side coming around to the medial side. You can see that true blue swoosh right there. Also true blue going down the eye stays and around the mud guard. White on that quarter panel again and white at the bottom at your uh, midsole, excuse me, with the cement gray at the very bottom. And we're going to go around the toe box, but before we do, we do have tissue that it comes with. Take a look at the toe box. One of my favorite part of Jordan sneakers. The leather uh, is not stiff like the uh, dunks that they've been coming out with, like the pandas. It's not that leather, but it's not uh, the taxi one leather either. But it's doable but i'm not sure if i'm gonna get for the personal uh comes factory lace well it comes with the true blue uh laces you do get additional laces you have white laces in here and this is the new way your laces are gonna come if you're gonna be out there getting early pairs of jordans this is everything that it should come with you do have a white nylon tongue and you do have a woven patch in the true blue colorway with the white Nike branding, Nike Air branding that it is. Turn it around, you can see you got that message. You got a little cotton white on the tongue. True blue sock liner going all the way around. True blue, true blue sock liner. And you do have a insert, white insert, true blue branding. And it does come out. Let's go ahead and take that out. Get you a better look at that insert this is how your insert should look and you do have a sizes sticker right there 7.5 and on the back of the insert there you go you got that dream cell technology on the back of this uh that's pretty much the shoe sizing i say go true to size guys go true to size and you should be fine with the jordan ones i tend to have a little more room and the ones, which is good. I stick to my side for teeny these, but this is the shoe. Let me know if you're going for these. I did put a poll up on IG a couple days ago. Not sure if you guys participated or not, but 
Uh, it seems like a lot of people are not rocking with this shoe. Me, I'm probably gonna try to get it for retail if I hit cool. If not, on to the next shoe. But the beginning part of the year, I try to concentrate on reachbacks and grails that I wasn't able to get and try to get them now. And they nicknamed this shoe True Blue One because they comparing it to the True Blue Threes. And these do, these do have some similarities in the blue and the Seaman Gray. These are my True Blue Threes with the Nike Air on the back. Oh, I need to get somebody to touch this up because they're starting to peel. So if y'all touch up shoes, Hit me up on IG, Titanic Feet Jack, same as here on uh, YouTube. I need a little job to get hit up. But this is the True Blue One, True Blue Threes. Will you be adding these to your collection this Saturday? But it's the end of the video. And like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. And you do have that branded Jordan Wings logo right here in the true blue colorway. I forgot to tell y'all that. I'm Titanic Free Jack, and I'm signing out.